Okay, says it is live. So, hang on just one sec. Let me make sure I'm in the right place. Okay. And um, happy Monday. Hopefully everybody is warm. That's water. <laughs> Ours is frozen twice, but we got it unstuck. Uh, that's the royal we, of course. That would be Rob getting <laughs> unstuck because, yeah. Um, the first time it was our, uh, you know, those blue water filters that you put on between the faucet and the hose, right? So that it filters the water before it comes into the RV. Um, that froze the first time because he didn't have the little thing wrapped around it to keep it warm because we have a heated hose, obviously. And then... Um, the whole uh, yard hydrant froze this morning, but it is unthawed now, so we have water. Yes. Anyway, hopefully you are all surviving this winter burr blast that has hit everywhere, right? Not just the Pacific Northwest. Um, we ended up, I think, with about a um, three inches of snow, and then it just froze. Froze, froze, froze. Cold, cold, cold. Um, didn't ever get negative here, which was thankfully, but it did get to, uh, what, six degrees, I think one morning, it's really too cold for here. Anyway, hope you're all well, uh, today I'm going to make sure we're in the right spot before I continue on here. Yep. Okay. So today, what I wanted to talk about is this. Awesome, awesome. Um, do an A to Z series, right? Because we haven't, uh, there's a couple oils and blends that I haven't covered yet because just so many things, right? Um, but Supermint, I wanted to talk about Supermint, this blend today. So let me bring up my notes. I should have had that ready and I did not. Um, there we go. There's my notes. Okay, so what I always like to start out doing is reading from the Essential Emotions book, which I will put the link in the comments where you can find this. It's at oillife.com. Okay, so if you look it up, Super Mint is the oil of perspective. It says mints are one of the most dynamic of the plant families. They offer a wide spectrum of support for body, mind, and spirit. Um, combining this quartet of mints because super mint is a blend that has peppermint, Japanese mint, uh, bergamot mint, and spearmint all together in it. It's very minty. It's really nice, really nice. Um, so what that does is by combining it, it amplifies their natural healing abilities. So it can help you with, uh, if you're facing, um, anything big or small, right? It's like a life coach in a bottle, um, it helps you when dealing with discomfort and exhaustion. It is incredibly soothing for aches and pains. It helps to calm inflamed tissues, promotes circulation, and restores energetic flow. Um, it also offers a burst of energy and motivation to keep going when one is feeling lethargic and depleted. Um, mints are really excellent, excellent at providing much needed rest and recharge. Um, you know, don't use them to dissociate or avoid the messages that your body is trying to send to you. Um, use them in tandem with listening to your body's message, right? Okay. Um, it does really help to focus your, your uh, mind and open your airways, right? With all that mint in there um, and lift any brain fog that you might have going on and to wake you back up, okay? Um, so it can be used all three ways. And with doTERRA, you know that because it has the supplemental fact label on it, right? Not just an ingredient label. And so you can use it aromatically, you can use it topically, and you can use it internally. Uh, it's great to create. Oh, it's great to create an uplifting environment. So you can diffuse it at your workspace. You can enjoy the scent while you are preparing for your day. Um, or take some deep breaths for a mid-afternoon boost. If you are like lagging in the afternoon and you're working on your computer or whatever, literally just open the bottle and breathe it in. And just all the, all the fog will lift and you will be awake. Now, the nice thing about this is that it comes in the 15 ml bottle. It also comes in the beadless, comes in the touch roller. And if you... 
are not too fond of the on guard toothpaste. I love the on guard toothpaste, but we also have super mint toothpaste now. So those are the uh, different ways that you can that you can use it. Okay, um, you can use this when you're traveling or during long car rides if you get nauseous right from all the terms and things like that. Um, it can also, like I said before, open your airways. So topically super mint it has a really it has the same as peppermint right it has that really cooling sensation um after a large meal or when you try new foods you can use this just like you would peppermint or digestion or ginger to help with your digestive system so that it helps um soothe and comfort you right um always dilute it before you apply it topically only because it's all minty and it can be a little like spicy on your skin and if you have sensitive skin that might that might not agree with you. So always dilute it. Um, and that way it'll absorb better. You'll get less that evaporates and um, you'll enjoy the benefits more. Okay. So um, the touch roller, like I said, is really nice to use because it's already pre-diluted. That's what the touch means is that it's pre-diluted with fractionated coconut oil. So you can just grab it and apply it. Um, if you need to open your sinuses, you know, you could roll that on your sinuses, um, the back of your neck, relieve head tension, relieve muscle tension, you know, in your neck. Um, if you have um, some ears, maybe that you want to drain, you could always roll that in the front and the back and then massage down where your lymph system goes to help that, to help that drain. Um, the beadlets are awesome to carry in the car because they can, uh, you pop one in your mouth and then bite it open and it really helps to freshen your breath. Um, so if you've had coffee or you know taking a nap and you want to freshen your breath right um really nice and also i find the peppermint and the supermint in the car are really nice to have because when you're driving sometimes the sun is coming in and the vibration the car and you're just like oh right and if you take one of those in your mouth and you pop it open it will literally clear all that brain fog and wake you right back up so super nice to keep those um, and then also it would help to support an upset stomach and help your digestion. So use it internally to help support your digestive function. Um, because of the unique minty flavor of it, right? It's really great to also add to like drinks or smoothies or desserts or dressings or, you know, whatever you want to that little minty flavor peppermint. Instead of peppermint brownies, you could use super, super mint brownies, right? Um, you could add a few drops to water to support your digestive system. You could place a drop under your tongue. That's a big, that's a big drop, right? And the nice thing about the beadlets is they're only a fourth of a drop out of the big one. Um, so I would do the beadlets over putting that under my tongue because that could be really, really spicy. Um, you could rub it on your abdomen to soothe you a digestive upset you might have. Um, you could put a few drops in your hands, rub it together cup it over your nose and mouth and then breathe in um, to really wake you up, open up your airways. Um, so yeah, the oils that are in this, it has peppermint in it, which helps to bring clarity to your mind and rid brain fog, right? Okay. It also helps to cool an overacting mind, causing you to pause and gain clearer perspective. Um, it is great to use if your internal temperature is running hot. Okay. It helps to open your airways um, and breathe easier. It supports digestion and helps to uh, relieve head tension or any tight muscles. And then there's also Japanese mint in there or Japanese peppermint. That is similar to peppermint oil, um, but it contains a higher percentage of the chemical constituent menthol. So it gives it a more potent minty aroma. And for that reason, it's often the ingredient of choice in most commercial like lozenges that you may um, suck on to soothe your throat, right? Or to open your sinuses. So when used topically, Japanese mint oil provides a cooling and invigorating effect on the skin. It's great for a personal massage after um, exercise or a tiresome work day. Great to use in your hair care routine. You could add a drop or two to your, either your shampoo or your um, conditioner and massage that onto your scalp. Um, great to use in a foot bath, right? Along with your Epsom salts. And then also a post-workout massage to help relax muscles. Um, bergamot mint is also in there. That is known as orange mint or, I, it's French and I'm going to butcher it, eau de cologne, right? Mint. Um, it's the lesser known mint of the 
mint family. I think we've had bergamot in a couple of times as like the product of the month or something. Cause I think I have one or two. Um, so we have had it before, but it's not a, it's not a permanent thing with doTERRA. Um, it is considered one of the most fragrant of all the mints. Um, it has minty and citrus notes. It is high in linalool and linalool acetate like lavender. So it gives a sense of calm and relaxation without feeling overly sedated. Uh, bergamot mint promotes financial abundance, um, helping you to retain the finances that you have. So you might want to use that one, right? Spearmint is also in there. So then it has, it has peppermint, um, bergamot mint, spearmint, and Japanese mint. Those are the four mints that are in there. Um, spearmint is considered a gentler mint than peppermint. Um, it's great to use with children um, for their digestive support. Um, also, if they're feeling sad, angry, or emotionally spiraling out of control, like perhaps having a tantrum, that might be a good oil to get out and um, just have them smell or put in the diffuser. Um, if you consider peppermint a day mint, then think of spearmint as a night mint because it helps to give you focus without too much stimulation, right? And sometimes I've used um, the uh, tri ease before at night because I was really stuffed from allergies and things like that. And it kept me awake. So, and that has peppermint in it. So spearmint would be great to use at night. Um, spearmint's also great to help you process the day and digest kind of what has gone on with the day um, emotionally. So great, great, great oil to have in your arsenal of, uh, of essential oils, spearmint or super mint, and um, you can get the 15 ml bottle, the touch roller to grab and go, the beadlets, which is great to keep in your car, in your purse, your backpack, whatever. Um, and then we also have the uh, toothpaste to the super mint now. So if um, you have used super mint before for some purpose and you want to share that, that'd be great. You can put that in the comments below. And what else? Um, I think that's all I got for you today. It's a short one. So hope you're all surviving the cold. And um, it looks like this week we'll warm back up to more normal temperatures, right? And um, yeah, I will talk to you next Monday. We'll do another live. Not quite sure what. If you have anything that you want to know more about in depth, um, essential oil wise, please put that in the comments and I will add that to uh, my running list of um, topics. Okay. All right. I will talk to y'all later. Love you lots. Bye.